Today I'm going to show you how to run Visual Studio Code from your iPad. The Visual Studio Code that we're gonna run will actually be open on your computer. Whether it's MacBook or Windows computer, it should not matter. So let's get started. First, obviously, you would open VS Code. And then you will go to this bottom left side where you see this green button with the greater than, less than sign. And then there is a tooltip that says open a remote window. You click on it and then you click the first option tunnel. So what it's going to do is going to install necessary extensions. It may take just a few seconds usually. So after that's done, you will see no indication that something has happened. But if you go to extensions, this button right here, we see that two new extensions were installed. It's remote-tunnels and remote explorer. And that's all we need. So then we click on this green greater than, less than button again, and then we click connect to tunnel. So we can choose either to use GitHub for authentication or Microsoft account. And we'll just use GitHub because I don't even know if I have a Microsoft account. Then we log into GitHub, get our two-factor authentication code, and then it asks us to authorize GitHub for VS Code. We click authorize, and then we click open Visual Studio Code. So now it's gonna do some more magic here, and then it's gonna tell us that we can either create a tunnel with this account, or we can switch account if we somehow signed in into the wrong account. So obviously we signed into the right account, so we just gonna click Create Tunnel, and it brings us to this Visual Studio Code help page. And it basically explains how it works, that it stars Visual Studio Code server on your computer. If you care about how this works, then definitely read this page. We care about how to actually get it working. Looks like we have a couple of options. We can either run the tunnel command in the CLI or enable tunnel in through VS Code UI. We just go with this one. So it says open VS Code on the remote machine where you'd like to turn on tunnel access. This is gonna be the machine you want to connect to. So in my case, it's the machine where we just installed all these extensions and authenticated with GitHub. And then it says in the VS Code account menu, we need to select the option to turn on remote tunnel access. Or alternatively, we can also press F1 or Control Shift P and type remote tunnels, turn on remote tunnel access. Let's try to do one of these. So we go to this account thingy and then turn on remote tunnel access. So you can either click on this or you can press F1 and then just type remote tunnels and then click turn on remote tunnel access. It does say it's currently in preview, but that's fine. You just click enable and it looks like we have a couple of options. We can either start this each session whenever we want to or install it as a service and it will run always whenever we're logged into our computer. I don't really like the second option, but it might be helpful if you want to have the ability to connect to it whenever you want so you don't have to recreate this session. Well, for now, I'll just turn it on for this session and then we already signed into GitHub so we can just use the same account. And if you look here to the bottom right corner, it says it's opening tunnel and my laptop name. Then we get the notification that we can now access this machine anywhere we're a secure tunnel. And basically we can configure it to turn off via VS Code accounts menu. So if you go back here, it says remote tunnel access is on. So if we click on it, we can turn it off here. We can change the tunnel name, or there is another option how to do that. You can go here to this remote explorer button and it may take a second. And then you may want to right click on this and then unregister tunnel when you don't want to use it anymore. That's how you turn it off. But Okay, so we started the server, but we still want to test that we can actually connect to it. So before we do that, let's just say we'll just open a folder and we'll create a new remote session, whatever folder, and we'll just create a simple, yes, I trust the authors. We'll just create a simple hello.py. Since we are right in Python, it immediately asks us if you want to install the recommended Python extension. Then we say, sure. Looks like I just don't remember how to write Python. If you run this from here, 
nothing's going to happen because we just defined function, but it doesn't actually do anything. So now let me switch to my iPad and see how we can connect to this tunnel. So what we do is we go to the browser and type vscode.dev. And it's basically going to bring us to what looks like Visual Studio Code, but in the browser. If we click Open Folder, it says Open your local folders in unsupported, but we can either open single files or open the remote repository. And that is what we want. We want to open remote, and then it gives us a few options. And then we just click Connect to Tunnel, click GitHub, and it asks us now on our iPad that the extension remote tunnels wants to sign in using GitHub. So we click allow and then again it asks us for the two-step authentication code. It's basically asking us the same things it already asked us on the, our MacBook. So we just select the user, click continue, and then it automatically brings us back to Visual Studio Code on our iPad. As you can see here at the bottom left corner, we're not connected to any tunnels. And here we still see the button to connect to tunnel. So we can either press here and connect to tunnel, or we can just press this button, just say GitHub and then select the name of our laptop that was created for us. And it's open in remote now. Now, as you can see here at the bottom right, it says connecting to our laptop. And you just gotta be patient. It's actually been like well over a minute, but it's still doing something. I guess we just need to let it do its thing. And voila, we are connected to my laptop. So now we can actually open folder. And as you can see, when we do that, instead of trying to open a folder on my iPad, it actually gives me the options to open any folder on my laptop. So we go to documents, repos, remote session, click OK, or tap OK, I should say. Obviously, you can connect a keyboard and a mouse to an iPad. The ones I bought aren't really that great. I'm going to return them, but that's definitely an option. Then I'm going to say I trust the authors. And here, as you can see, we have our hello.py. And now it asks us if we want to install the recommended Python extension now on our iPad. And obviously, it's probably a good idea. So we close this. And now we can try to run it. And as you can see, the cool part is it opens the terminal for us. And the terminal gets opened basically on our MacBook because as you can see, it's a code that we have at my laptop name and then the folder name. So now if we change this to actually execute this function, if you run it again, you see that it did print hello. And here on my actual laptop, nothing got printed. You might be wondering if this would only work while you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network, because it definitely was. Well, let's try to figure it out from the documentation. And here it says you can connect to that machine from a VS Code client anywhere without the requirement of SSH. And I think that's why we need to sign in with GitHub because you don't want any random person just connected to your tunnels. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will be able to write code from pretty much any device anywhere as long as you have some remote servers set up. And if you still have not watched my video about how to automate your code reviews, then click right here.